My name is Dante Bogart. I used to be a military contractor. For the last 15 years, I have been employed by the private military company, Bologna Industries and its various shell corporations, all owned by the Amaro family. I have provided military and law enforcement training consultation, piracy and smuggling interdiction, black ops services, and hard method interrogation services to government and private clients in many parts of the world. Fuck me. For the last Five years, I have been employed privately by the Amaro family for a private research project to acquire exotic viral and bacterial agents and advanced biological warfare materials from third world sites, foreign research facilities, and terrorist paragovernmental black sites facilities with the intention of developing viral-based radical life extension technology for both offensive and defensive applications. The life extension research is the pet project of Virgil Amaro, who, as you may know, has small cell lung cancer that is currently in remission. Now, based on the three primary phases of my mission, I believe Virgil has three planned applications for this research. First, I believe Virgil wants to live forever. In the early days of my direct employment by Bologna, after I had proved my uh, loyalty in the various quasi-legal, quasi-criminal shell corporations that shelter the Amaro family, I acquired human corpses frozen in a manner consistent with radical life extension technology. Now, the consumer version of this technology currently appears to be completely ineffective. However, I have reason to believe Bologna has perfected its technique. At a secret facility down in Panama, and has successfully revived corpses post-mortem. Virgil, Virgil's team has not been successful, however, in ensuring that these revived creatures retained any sort of meaningful brain function. But given the progress they've made, I believe it is only a matter of time before some kind of immortality is reality. And I have no doubt in my mind that the secret will be proprietary and patented by one of Bologna's affiliates. <laughs> okay. Second, second, Virgil wants radical life extension technology so he can build super soldiers. He wants Bologna to be able to field a private army of killers who cannot be killed or more accurately, killers who become more dangerous when they are killed. 
They appear to be intentionally infected, possibly without even knowing they are infected, with an engineered virus. I, I don't know the name of it. I don't even know the fucking code name of it. The virus makes them mildly sick, like a, like a cold or a flu. And in fact, the, the DNA or RNA or whatever the fuck they call it from this thing may have actually been encased in a protein derived from H1N1. Some sick shit, motherfuckers. Though, no, really, there I'm just guessing. I do not know how they fucking got this shit to work. But the patients recover quickly, and at that point, the virus seems to go into some sort of latent phase where it allows them to live as, as, as normal humans and possibly not even knowing they are infected. Then, they may be changed slightly. There may be some personality differences that I have observed firsthand. The infection may show up on a blood panel. I don't fucking know. But they are otherwise indistinguishable from uninfected humans. Until they are killed. Then they get up. And they start laughing. Then they can't be killed. Oh man, except by severe trauma to the head. And they will come after you and they will fucking eat you alive, motherfucker. God help you if you are bit. Does that sound familiar? That's right, fuckers. These pricks are zombies! <laughs> I get bit. I get feverish, and then I get hungry. <laughs> and what do I need? Brains. 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 some sort of like spaceship commandos from Alpha Centauri to you motherfuckers, doesn't it? Science fucking fiction, right? Sounds like bullshit. Maybe it is. I'm probably fucking crazy, man. I have done some motherfucking things in my life that is guaranteed to make a man motherfucking crazy. But I have seen this shit. I have seen the dead walk. Not only have these soldiers already apparently been created by the MROs, they have been deployed. I don't know how many or how far or by who, but 
The total number of contractors like me directly employed by Bologna Enterprise, that's under a thousand. But the company's affiliates, shell corporations, and private organizations under friendly governments and paragovernments and insurgent groups number at least 100 times that. Do the math, motherfuckers. I have no idea how far this experiment has proceeded into the operational phase. <sighs> or whether it is being employed, employed only on Bologna's affiliate contractors, or if others may have become involved, uh, other organizations, other deployment methods? Okay. The third reason I believe Virgil Amaro wants radical life extension technology is far more speculative. I've personally observed at least a dozen strains of one virus or several viruses Virgil's team has worked with. Some of them don't go latent. These strains kill the host fast and they're barely even laid down before those fuckers are up and start to attack others and they will use fists and feet and teeth and they will fucking feed and feed. They will eat you alive. And they will laugh the whole time they do it. <laughs> now, I believe that Virgil may want to use this most radical strain as a deployable weapon. It's a persistent virus. Oh yeah, it is not fragile like Ebola. Even a relatively durable weaponized disease like smallpox or anthrax, oh no, this virus lasts. You don't need some badass ICBM to send this shit into the field. Disperse it in an enemy encampment with a fucking crop duster. Then let your new best friends do all the killing for you. <laughs> Come back an hour later, you drop a little fuel air bomb to suck the laughers' lungs up out of them and fry them down to their torsos. And then you send assholes like me in to put down the wriggler. Now, one of the areas I worked in during my tenure with the Bologna organization was securing biological, chemical, and nuclear materials in the former Soviet republics. Transporting this stuff requires certain security measures. I am not confident the Amaros have utilized these. And there have been several incidents in which the materials may have fallen into non-governmental hands. <laughs> I don't know who's. I know viral samples have disappeared from Bologna affiliated sites in Chile, in Lebanon, in the southern Sudan. Hey, accidents happen. Whoops. Now, I have no idea if these disappearances were engineered to provide plausible deniability to the MROs in case the virus gets released. Fuck, I don't know. Or if Al Qaeda 2.0 is dumping it into the sewer system out in Cleveland. I don't 
fucking know. <laughs> Look, assholes. I don't have much time here. The short version is this. Virgil Amaro is a religious fanatic. He's also a fucking sadistic narcissist. He believes in the end times. He believes they're on their way. But maybe, maybe not fast enough for him to be around to enjoy them when they get here. He also believes that God helps those who help themselves. He wants to give the end times a little push to get the tribulation started, you know? And he needs to make sure that he'll be around to be able to profit from them. And to do that, he needs three things. He needs to live for a thousand years. He needs a private army of soldiers who cannot be killed. And he needs the rest of you to suffer and die. My name is Dante Bogart. I am not a soldier. Now that may not matter to the rest of you mopes, but it matters to me. I thought I was a soldier. Virgil Amaro thought I was a motherfucking grunt. But it turns out neither one of us were right. I was just another killer. <laughs> but as of this morning, as of this morning, I am something new. Mm. And it feels good. You want to know what I am now, Virgil? I'm viral, fucker. Open up and say, ah!